Let's, br- let's bring in Riker Matthews, one of his offensive linemen. And uh, okay, what? Why? Why are you giving him an A minus? And then Riker will ask you because he went to a JC. <laughs> so, so, so you love you love any guy that went to a JC. Yeah, man. A yeah, yeah. Any you know JC guys? I gotta I gotta go for my JC guys. JC love. Yes, sorry. Riker, okay, we sorry. think he's played well, and we're talking specifically in uh, the four starts. So we kind of throw out Utah State for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. What letter grade would you give your quarterback? Uh, honestly, if we give him protection, A. I mean, if we give him protection, he's always hitting his passes. Yeah. And, I mean, you can't complain with that. And he's scrambling in the pocket nice and making the right reads. And so I don't think you can give him much lower than that, as long as the O-line's protected. Well, you there, guys are there you yeah, go. As long as I'm doing is my it, job. Is it easier to protect a guy like Christian than Taysom? Because Taysom's just everywhere, right? You're, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. blogging, and, like, two oh, seconds yeah. later, you're like, wait a minute, why are you on my back right Oh, now? yeah, exactly. And, I mean, Stu, you always know where he's at. You know, he's going to sit in the pocket and be right behind you, Taysom. I mean, you're blocking for one second, and all of a sudden he's on the opposite side of you, and you're <laughs> – Or down the field. Yeah, or down the field, and you're just <laughs> like, that make oh. you look bad in your grades on, on Monday when you guys come in and, 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 and review film? You're like, Coach, if Taysom wasn't Taysom, I would have got a, a puzzle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so you have better grading We do a little argument with yeah. the coaches, you know. Like, we would have we would have blocked differently yeah. if, <laughs> if we would have known Taysom was going to sprint. 40 yards, so. Riker nice. Matthews, he goes by Micah Rathews on Twitter, <laughs> which I love. It's awesome. Uh, it's on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, it's a bye week. How are you spending the bye week? Just relaxing, trying to get my body healthy, really. Um, I've had that ankle injury. and so You I'm just, and everyone else. Yeah, what? right? You had an ankle, Holy too? Macro. Yeah, it's surprising. I thought you guys were good with the ankles. We were like, out of all the groups out there, the offensive linemen have, have not had the ankle bug. But I guess well, it it's it's weird though, because with the ankle injuries, especially like high ankle sprains, that's what I had. You know, um, it feels like when you're running on it, like full speed, it hurts. Yeah. But when we're doing like our O line steps, and you know, having our whole foot planted in the ground instead mm. of on the ball of our foot, yeah. it actually doesn't hurt at all. Mm. Good, yeah. And so, I mean, it hurts worse to go do jogging for warm-up than uh, it does to actually play. Interesting. Gotcha. And so I'll just go and tape up my ankle, put a few rolls on it, and, good. and then I'm good. So you guys so. can get away. The offensive line can get away with it. Because that was, that was one of our questions was, how in the world are you guys able to get away with it yeah. and not the rest of the team? I mean, man, you guys, you have to be scratching your head and like, what, what is going on, trainers? Why, why is everybody getting ankles? Yeah, we're all wondering about it, but I mean, we haven't still put, wondering. Yeah, we we don't know what it is. Maybe we it's really Nike's. Weird. Maybe it's Nike's fault. Don't blame Nike, man. Nike's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Nike is fantastic. Uh, serious question here: Are, Is anyone afraid to get hurt given the amount of injuries that have happened? I don't think so. I mean, I haven't noticed it at all. Um, I mean. It's kind of been freak stuff that's been happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's been so, there's just been so much freak stuff that it's like, wait, is there like a we cursed reason? <laughs> like what, we cursed a little we bit? Yeah, what's what, going what, on? What did we do? Yeah, yeah, nothing that I've noticed. I mean, no one's ever said that's anything good. or acted like it. So that's good. Riker Matthews is on BYU Sports Nation. the o, The offensive line uh, seems generally like you guys have been a better unit this year. Uh, agree, disagree, and if so, why? I agree. I mean, I think we're starting to understand you know the philosophy behind coach and i's offense yeah. and it's helping a lot to you know trust um you know leaving a backside defensive end on the zone read and um do all that mm. and it's we're just starting to get more unity within the offensive scheme and uh it helps a lot it so helps a lot. with with the, with the midterm grades what would you guys what would you grade your, your guys your, your group right now um C. Honesty. C. 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 Ooh, I like it. Mm. I like it. The, well, I like it. Have, I like it because have. I don't agree with it. But I. But you're I grading just, hard. I just feel there's tons and tons that we need to work on, hmm. and there's a lot that we need to improve on, um, run like, game and pass game. Okay. And you know we've had some good moments, and we've had drives where we've just destroyed, but we've also had drives where we've just completely broken down. Yeah, and so I think we just need to be consistent, consistently good, and you can't be much more than a C consistent. <laughs> yeah, you're not consistent. consistent you know? right. yeah. What what's worse, a three and out or a, or a turnover? Uh, ooh, that's tough. 
they're both pretty crappy, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. They both suck pretty bad. It depends uh, where the turnover is at. I almost feel like, yeah, it depends on where the turnover is at. But I almost feel like it'd be easier to have a turnover because three and out, it's like they just shut you down three plays right. in a row. They just smacked you in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, turnover, it's just like, oh, you just got to fix the ball security issue, yeah. mm-hmm. and yeah. then you're good. Correctable you know? mistake. How, how – there's there's a play that – I forgot what team ran. I think it was uh, Arkansas where they had a lineman roll out. Oh, a lineman and, threw a pass. Do you, have you guys ever asked Coach and I, hey, man, let, let me run the ball. Let me run the rock. Let me throw a pass. I've told him multiple times that I can catch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my first two games when I wasn't playing, I was on scout offense playing tight end for him. Ooh, and ooh, so, wow. I mean, I proved myself that I could catch. You know, I was mossing some of those defensive dudes. <laughs> And so nice. I keep telling them, like, just give me a tackle eligible. I'll catch it every time. <laughs> the, but I, they're not buying it. Duff Tittle's oh, in the studio. Maybe you can help me with this one. The last tackle eligible touchdown I remember for BYU, 2001 Liberty Bowl, Dustin Reichard. You got that one? Yeah, I agree with that. BYU threw a tackle. That was the only touchdown in the game. BYU's number one offense in the country. <laughs> Luke Staley's hurt, so they have to throw to o Who, Who, in all reality, who's the most likely to get, like, a trick play touchdown that's not, like, a skill position guy? Um... So that's basically just the offensive line, right? Uh, <laughs> or, or like the, a defensive the, player, the punter, uh, offense the, or something. The punter or, um, or Scott. Yeah. Well, he tried to yeah. go for a first down, but, you know. I Probably um, like Remington Peck or Bronson Kafusi, mm-hmm. just because on our field goals, they're on the wings. You know, I'm on oh, one yeah. side wing, and they're the tight end and the wing on the opposite side where if, if, the, if it's a bad snap, you know, right. Scott's rolling out to that side. Mm. And so – I guess. Can then? Scott throw? Listen, listen. Can he throw? Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard about his speed, but I'm telling you, Savannah State, let's just have a little bit, bit of fun here. It can be in the first half. doesn't be, have to be in the fourth quarter. Just plant that bug in there. It's on BYU TV. We just need a little something extra. Yes. What do you think? I completely agree. Just, we should start. We should start. We should start politicking for him right now. Say, hey, look, look, Coach, this is a perfect opportunity. We're going to have our third string guys in. Just let me take one snap. I don't even have to throw it. Maybe just do a wildcat situation. I'll run up, you know, I'll run up, run up through the tackle yep. and see it's, what I can do. It'll work as well as that rugby play, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. I promise you. Um, look, you beat Middle Tennessee. You snap a four-game uh, losing streak. You have bye week UNLV, Savannah State, Cal. What, what's the difference in the feeling of the team right now? Uh, kind of a sigh of relief. You know, it's the uh, first game that we won since Taysom was, you know, injured. And, um yeah. I think mainly for Stu, actually, you know, it's he was smiling so big. Oh yeah, huge grin. Yeah, and like we're on the field on victory position, and he walks up to me. He's like, "It's about freaking time." (laughs) (laughs) And I'm just like, "Man, I'm right there with you." And so uh, I think I think we're in high spirits, and um, I think we'll finish it out finish it out pretty well.